All right, let's look at how to calculate the pH of a strong acid solution. So the big thing with strong acids is they completely ionize so that every hydrogen on that acid becomes a H3O plus. So let's draw that, what that looks like. So here we have HBr. It's in water. And it completely, single arrow, uh, ionizes to H3O plus and Br minus. And so whatever molarity we have for our HBr is the same molarity. It's a one-to-one -one, uh, solution. So we got to find molarity. What's the molarity of this HBr is our question, and that will tell us that. And then pH is equal to that negative log of that concentration. So what are we told? We have point, or we have 727 milligrams. I'm going to convert that to grams. So that's 0.727 grams HBr uh, in 340 milliliters. But what is molarity? It's moles per liter. So I'm going to convert uh, and I'll look it up. 80.91 grams per one mole of HBr. That gives me 0 0.0899 moles. And that is moles, that's not molarity. So I'm going to divide by my 0 0.340 liters because it's moles per liter. And that gives me 0 0.0264 molar. So that's this molarity. It's also this molarity because it completely ionizes. So now I just need to put in my pH equals negative log of 0 0.0264. And I get 1.578. And it says three significant decimal places. So let's put that in. There we go. So not much of this acid um, in 340 milliliters. We still have a pretty low pH there, even though that molarity is pretty small, but that's because it's a strong acid.